Okay, this is my second lesson on line. I'm going to be talking about contour line um, and semi-blind contour line. So it's it's the takeoff from the last one, from the last uh, lesson that I did. I hope it helps you. Um, first off, I'll remind you what contour line is. Contour line is a uh, type of connected continuous line. And I'll write on here contour. Like that's a continuous line, okay? And line is the path of a moving point. So if you make a dot and you trace its path, it becomes a line. So that's what line is, if you don't know the definition of line. Um, there are different kinds of contours. There's um, contours that are outlines, where you draw around something. Like, so let's say you have a slice of bread. That's a good one. Slice of bread. Okay, cross contour is when you're actually showing each slice of bread like this you can see how it's going across and each slice is going around across the loaf of bread and it becomes it describes the shape of the bread from its side so that's cross contour so there's two different kinds of one okay one of the things that i use besides drawing my hand is I try to find objects that are interesting that aren't too difficult. And one of the ones that I use quite often, especially in the fall, is draw leaves of different kinds. You can go out and find maple leaves or these are oak leaves and you just try to draw them. And what you do is you have to learn to put your eye on the object on the edge and you start to trace the outline with your eye very slowly. And it's best to do this with a pen and then as you're going, uh, you won't be tempted to stop and erase because if you race, as soon as you're raced, you race, you race, you break your visual connection, and then you start looking at your paper, and then you don't know where you are. So it's better if you just go ahead and use a pen. So you just find a point where you want to start. Like I'm going to start here. Now I'm going to do the difference between uh, contour drawing and blind contour. Blind, you are not supposed to look down at your paper at all. But in just regular contour, you get to. So you, you put your pen out here. You start to draw the outline very slowly. Okay, this is mostly outline. Kind of following the shapes of it. Okay. Now to com complete it, I would come up, put, pick up my pen, put it back down on my paper, and then start looking at the object. Don't watch yourself draw. In this case, I actually would start to draw on my fingers. And then you can put in other things like this. I can put the, the veins, the leaves in here. And each one has a vein in it up here and I think you can see that eventually it's going to end up a pretty realistic looking leaf or oak leaf a pretty good copy of it and you can twist it and do it in different directions you can try to draw it from looking at the end which is quite challenging um, other objects that work really well for just for uh, contour drawing I like to have students work with drawing their shoes and I always made students take their shoes off, which some of them felt was kind of strange and funny and kind of weird. Even the adults I've taught, that was the same thing. I'd have them take off their shoe and they thought they were kind of weird. But you usually know your shoe pretty well, so it's a nice thing to work with. So you can start with that. You can put it out here on the edge and you can do, start to get a bit of an outline. But look to see where there's differences in dark and light, shapes, and just move your hand around. Go across. Now I'm going cross contour because I'm getting the laces. You see those? And then I, I need to continue on. So I'm coming over here on this line and I'm looking to see where the next lace is. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to put in this lace and it comes through comes underneath comes underneath and 
and then goes up like that. Okay, and then continue on with making more of the shapes that I see. And the edge of it coming down. And do some more of this. Now, and a very important concept when you're doing any drawing, and this is super important, you have to be careful where your head position is. Because if you're looking at an object from one direction, like a coffee cup, you have a coffee cup, all right? And you're looking at the direction and you see the handle on one side. As soon as you move your head a little bit, your view changes. And so the handle will end up coming over here. And so what happens is between these two views, if you keep going back and forth and moving your head, you will end up with a confused drawing. And so it's very important to make sure that you keep your head in the same position as you're doing your drawing so that you don't end up with that problem of having more than one view in the same drawing. It makes it very abstract. Okay, now I'm going to put in the front of this shoe here. And this is a difference in value, difference in color, uh, color and shading a little bit. And so it gives a little more clarity to it. And then coming over here, and start to draw this down. Okay, and I don't, I'm not going to finish this whole shoe because that's a, it's obvious it's becoming a shoe. So shoes are great to draw. Um, you can in the you can also use pumpkins, squash, shells, um, cups, saucers. There's all different kinds of things that you can use when you're doing a contour line drawing. Okay, so this is contour line, and this is not blind or semi-blind. Okay. All right, that's our lesson for today. I hope that'll help you.